And then on Tuesday, okay, again, I love that these two things are happening on the same day. We have two more transits that are very notable. Mars will have finished its time in Pisces and Mars will be making its entrance into Aries. Okay. So after this imaginal cells in the cocoon goo, Mars goes into Aries and Mars rules Aries. Mars is hot and quick in Aries. So I think the inspired action of like, okay, so now that you've got the compelling vision, what is the step? What is the next logical step? And not necessarily like Aries is not thinking about the 4,000 steps to get you to where you want to go. But like right here, right now, today, what would be exciting? What would fill you with love? What would fill you with light? So just one step. I'm going to take this step because it sounds fun to me. Mars and Aries is very impulsive. So we have about six weeks of Mars moving through Aries and that starts on Tuesday. So really like that whole next six weeks of kind of moving through the rest of Taurus season on through Gemini season, we'll be getting lots of ideas of like what action do you actually take to get these new results that you can imagine that you value. Um, And the other thing that's happening on Tuesday is that Venus, since it's moved into Taurus, it'll be at two degrees of Taurus on Tuesday and Pluto is hanging out at two degrees of Aquarius. And so that means that Taurus and Aquarius are square to each other. So that means on Tuesday, we're having Venus square Pluto. Venus being our values, our self-worth, our ideas about beauty and value in the world in general, the things that we value most, Pluto being about death and rebirth. The classic like uh, caterpillar going into the cocoon and coming out a butterfly, like completely different. So I think, you know, those two things happening together, Mars entering Aries and Venus squaring Pluto, there is an absolute, um, the self undoing process of who you were and having possibly some um, emotional congestion that works its way up and out during the first part of this week with Venus squaring Pluto, like some things that are kind of in the way that are hindering this becoming, letting those be released, moving through that energy and trusting that like, kind of like the analogy that Leanne's friend offered her, where like you're a marble in a funnel and it does feel like you are going around and around, but you are working down into where it is that you meant to be. So please be with any emotional release as a brand new expression of emotion. This is not revisiting something that you've been with a million different times. This is moving through the the leading edge version of it and releasing another layer of it that is going to set you free. Pluto's job, I mean, Pluto is the Lord of the underworld and that gets really scary to think about, but Pluto's job is to set you free to be your truly most empowered self. Pluto wants you to have your power. So anything that is standing in the way of that, Pluto sees that that's fair game to burn to the ground. So that can be things in our physical life. Often it's things that are inside of us. It's limiting beliefs, it's limiting values, and especially with Venus being the one in square, there are going to be even relationship patterns, even relationship patterns within ourselves of us relating to us. Things that are set up for, okay, this is this is earmarked for we need to transform it so she can be her most powerful badass self. That's all Pluto really cares about. So those two things happening on Tuesday, Mars entering Aries and Venus um, squaring Pluto. Also Mars entering Aries on that same day. I freaking love that because there is an element of like Mars and Aries is a badass. Mars and Aries is like courageous. Mars and Aries doesn't second guess. Mars and Aries knows that like, if I want it in this moment, then I can have it. There's no analytical process there. There's only action. There's like raw life force energy. And so as that raw life force energy is coming online for us and Venus is making it square to Pluto, I see a whole rush of power coming quickly. So, I mean, 
some more for some than others. And it's a, it's a level of readiness within yourself always. Um, but that's, what's available to us as we will allow our current selves to be undone and allow whatever imaginal experience these, this goo wants to have to let it have its way with us.